In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a simple armature to the model of a character that I made in previous tutorials. I'm going to open the model of the character I made in the previous tutorial. I'm going to change the view to front and perspective to orthogonal. I'm going to open up a new window by dragging on the white diagonal lines in the top right hand corner. I'm going to drag to close the tool shelf and change the view to right. I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel and I'm going to add armature single bone. We can't see the bone because it's inside the mesh, but if I go to the armature properties, we can turn X-ray on. I'm going to press S to scale to make the bone bigger. I'm going to move the bone down by dragging on the tip of the blue arrow. We make an armature in edit mode. A bone has a wide end which is the head of the bone and a tapered end which is the tail of the bone. With the tail selected I'm going to drag on the tip of the blue arrow and move it up to the base of the neck. I'm going to select the whole bone and move it back a bit using the green arrow. To make a new bone we select the tail of the previous bone. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off, select the tail and we press E to extrude to make a new bone. I'm going to press Z or Z so the bone goes straight up and place the tail of the new bone at the base of the head. I'm going to the bone properties. You should name the bones meaningful names and I remove any roll by setting it to be zero. For the next bone, E to extrude, Z or Z to go straight up and set any roll to be zero. To add arm bones, I'm going to put x-axis mirror on. I'm going to select the tail of the backbone and I'm going to press E to extrude. Now I only get one bone, Control Z to undo that. If I hold down Shift and press E, I get two bones emerging. If I press X, they'll be horizontal. If I select the bone, I'm not going to have a collarbone on this simplest of rigs. So I'm going to hold down Alt and press P and that gives me the option to disconnect the bone. I can now press G for grab to move the upper arm bone wherever I like. It is still the child of the backbone. If I grab the tail of the bone, I can put that where the elbow joint should be. And if I press E to extrude, I can extrude the lower arm bone. I'm going to select both and put any roll to zero. The same procedure for the leg bones, select the tail of the backbone, hold down shift and press E, press X to extrude horizontally, select the bone, hold down alt and press P, disconnect the bone, G to grab, move that down, R to rotate, 90 and enter, 0 and enter to take the roll off, G to grab to fine tune the placement, I'm going to grab the tail of the bone, G to grab to place the knee joint, E to extrude for the lower leg bone. To be able to pose the leg I'm going to apply inverse kinematics to the lower leg bone. I'm going to go into pose mode. In pose mode we get an additional button, a bone constraints button. I'm going to add the constraint inverse kinematics. The leg consists of a chain of two bones, so I'm going to set the chain length to be two. Now if I grab the lower leg bone, we get quite a nice leg motion. To clear a pose, press A to select all bones and go to the pose menu, clear transform all. I'm going to do the same for the arms, but first I'm going to go back into edit mode and change the view to the top view to check the position of the bones. The wrist needs moving slightly, G to grab, and the inverse kinematics works best if the elbow is slightly bent, G to grab, and put a slight bend in there. Now I'm going to go into pose mode, select the lower arm bone, add the constraint inverse kinematics. The arm is a chain of two bones, set the chain length to be two. Now if I press G to grab, we get quite a nice bending arm. Control Z and if I go back to the front view and press G to grab we get again a nice bending arm. Control Z. 
XMirror doesn't copy the inverse kinematics constraint so we have to select the other arm and add the constraint and set the chain length to be 2 and select the lower leg and add the inverse kinematics set the chain length to 2 now I'm ready to connect the skin the mesh to the armature but before you do that you must select the mesh in the object menu go to apply and apply rotation and scale this is critical if you want the automatic weights to work now I'm going to hold down shift and select the armature and press Control and P to create a parent relationship and choose the option with automatic weights now if I select the lower leg and press G to grab the mesh moves with the armature the deformations are not bad except for right at the top of the leg around the waist where we need to do some more work if I select the lower arm bone and press G to grab we have more of a problem there the automatic weights haven't picked up the end of the hand that's easily fixed by going back into edit mode selecting the tail of the bone pressing E to extrude and adding a hand bone we still use the lower arm bone to pose so we go back into pose mode press G to grab and the hand follows the arm I'm going to end the tutorial there I will put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.